Hi everybody. Welcome to Light Fragments Oracle. My name is Susie, where I do all kinds of various things, talk about various subjects. Today we're going to do the makeup procedure called baking. Now I did a little research on baking and it's been around for a long, long time. It goes all the way back to female impersonators that use this technique to sculpt their faces before they went on stage. But this technique has been adopted now by celebrities and pretty much the whole makeup community at large. Never done it before. And I decided, why not do it with all of you? So here I am. I've already put on my color corrector from e.l.f., the peach color corrector. I've already put on my brow fix, which this brow fix is from Rodan and Fields. I've had it for a while. I really like it because it also conditions my eyebrows. I have not tried the e.l.f. serum yet. I put on my Il Maquillage. Let me tell you the color in case you have the sk same skin tone as I have. This is 060 Woke Up Like This Flawless Base Foundation. I really like this foundation a lot, but I need to tell you it works better when you put a thin layer on and you use a moist blending sponge. This works even better than a brush dot it on your face, and then go back and pounce it in gently with your Beauty Blender. This is a, the Beauty Blender brand. I told you guys I've got two favorite, well, I actually have three favorite sponges. But if you notice, this sponge, if I get in close, you can see that it's cracking already. But I love that this sponge is so soft. So I may purchase a Beauty Blender from the Beauty Blender brand again. I don't know. But I have a couple of others that didn't cost me nearly as much. So I wanted to just let you know about that real quickly. And let's see, what else did I put on? I used my Harmony Alter Ego palette. And I put the color Mercy right here on my eyelid. See, I can tell you the colors now because I have my glasses on, but when I'm putting on makeup, I'm not going to tell you the colors. So over my eyelid is the color Mercy, and then the color Chorus I put under my eyebrow, which is this color right here. No, excuse me, this color right here. And then I went back from the corner just in the crease, and I used this color called will. And then I went under my eyes with the original um, Mercy color. So that's what I did for eyeshadow. Then I went in with, and I believe it's CoverGirl. Yes, I went in with the CoverGirl eyeliner just over my eyelids, just to the corner here. No wing. I don't want a wing today. And then I tight lined. Now, somebody asked me about curling eyelashes. And I did curl my eyelashes. But do they look curled to you? I even went out and I bought the Shuamira, Shuamira curler. I literally have to hold this thing for 30 seconds at least to get my eyelashes to curl. And then when I go and I put mascara on, forget it. They fall. So I look at that and I say, what's the point? Why put my eyelashes through that trauma? I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I should use the technique that women used to use in the olden days 
where once they got their mascara on, they just pushed up with their fingers. They pushed up with their fingers and held their fingers there, and the mascara set their eyelashes up. Maybe we should try that. Maybe that's something I should try with you guys. But yeah, this cover girl is really nice. It's got a really nice tip. The only thing is it's not waterproof, okay? It, this is not waterproof. But it's got a nice thin um, tip. And so you can get in the corner and make a nice thin line if you so choose. So let's get into the baking. Um, I'm going to bake under my eyes. I'm going to bake right here in this section. Um, I'm going to bake on a little bit on my chin, definitely under here. And I really packed on the bronzer on purpose because I want to show the sculpted look. So under my eyes, here, my chin, and here. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is I'm going to take my Age Rewind, which is very light, and I'm going to go over my color corrector under my eyes. And I'm going to make kind of like a, almost like a V like that. Now don't have a heart attack. This is very light and it's supposed to be. Okay. I'm going to do some on my chin and I'm going to do some right here and that's what we're going to do first. That might be a lot. This might be a lot, but it's all right. We're never going to know until we try, right? Now I'm going to take a concealer brush, and I'm just going to pat the edges around just to kind of smooth it in. Go a little bit down my nose. And I'm just going to pat and smooth this in underneath. Blend it in a little bit because the deal is is you don't want your conce you don't want this to dry. You need to be able to get the translucent powder on quickly. I'm just going to use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus because that's what I have. And now I'm going to take the sponge that I use, my damp sponge, and I'm going to press it. underneath where I put the concealer. I'm going to put a little bit here. I'm going to put a little bit here. Actually, I'm putting a lot. And pressing it in is what gets it in to the skin. And put a little down here. Now I'm going to go back with the concealer. Excuse me. And I'm going to sculpt underneath. Take my concealer brush, just blend this down a little bit. Let me see, is it equal? It looks like I have more on this side. So I'm gonna go back, just put a little more.
and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take the powder. And so evidently what happens is the powder cooks into the foundation, into the concealer. Okay? We just, you can already see it. So, if you're doing anything theatrical, that makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? And I will see you in five to ten minutes because that's how long I'm going to let it bake. Okay, I'm checking in. The reason that I'm checking in is because, can you tell? It's baking. It, it's baking. The warmth of my skin, the products that I put on. Okay, look, you can see this creasing here. So I'm just going to take still a little powder on here. I'm just going to tap that in. See what I did? I'm just going to tap that in so when it cooks more, there won't be any creases. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. That was pretty good. That was about eight minutes. <laughs> I got impatient. <laughs> Just kind of sitting up here. I can't use my phone or anything because this is my phone that I'm talking into. So I have two brushes. I have a dense brush and I have a stipple brush. And I'm going to take the stipple brush first and see what I can get off for powder. So let's do the forehead first. I'm just going to buff the powder that I put on my forehead gently into what I already had on my skin. Do you see the difference right here? But it's gently in my skin. I'm going to get close in so you can see. I don't believe there's anything. Look at that. That is amazing. It almost diminishes the look of my wrinkles. Okay, now I'm going to do under my eyes. This is going to be a little harder because uh, it's a big brush, but I'm just going to gently buff the powder off. Would you look at... Wow. Wow. I... I have never done this before. It is gorgeous. Okay, I'm going to do it on this side. All I'm doing now Remember, I had already put on my color corrector. All I'm doing is gently brushing off the powder. Now let's do this. This will be, well, let's do the chin. Okay, that was easy. Now I'm going to do under here. This one might be a little more difficult because I really bronzed. I bronzed up on purpose. Okay, so you can see a definitive line here. That's why I took out this brush and I'm really going to buff it in. What do you think? Let's do this side. All I'm doing is going in a circular motion with a flat brush. 
a flat, dense brush. This is like a, a flat makeup uh, foundation application brush. What do you think? Not done yet. Now I'm going to go back. Did I put it away? Yes, I did. Now I'm going to go back with my... Oh, no, I covered it up. Okay, now I'm going to go back with my hourglass blush. And I'm going to just gently touch above the bronzer, below the baking. Just like that. In between the two. little bit up into my temples, not much. I'm going to add a little bit of color to my nose, a little bit above the baking on my forehead. I think I might add just a little bit of color under my chin. What do you guys think? I am really, I am really impressed. I'm really impressed. That was so much fun. All right, let's put on some lipstick. I'm going to put on my MAC. I told you guys that this was Teddy Bear, but it's not the new color that's out. This is um, uh, Velvet Teddy. 617. So this is the older version of the Velvet Teddy. I just think it would look pretty with what I have on. And I think I mentioned this is one of my favorite lipsticks. So far, I haven't found any that I like as much as this. Um, I like the O face, but I was a little disappointed in the color. I really like White Wedding from Makeup Revolution. Um, yeah, this is Elf. I love the Nicole Cosmetics and Franny. I mean, I'm picky about lipsticks. Um, this is my Laura Geller in bright red. And then I have some other mauve colors. So let me take down my hair. Okay, this is the hard part because my hair, my hair goes all freaky on me. Freak out. Do, 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 do. Freak out. And then I can pull my tendrils down. I tuck them behind my ears. What do you guys think? I mean, you can see it, but it's not like... You can work at it. As much as you want, that is, that is very cool. Very, very, very cool. Oh, gosh. Come on, hair. Come on, hair. Be good. Be good for mama today. Come on. Be good for mama today. Now, you can see it does accentuate my wrinkles, but... <laughs> Now, 
Now, this is interesting. I can continue to soften that up. I sleep on my side on this side, so I have more wrinkles on this side. And you're not going to catch me sleeping on my back for the sake of beauty. I want to be comfortable, okay? I don't want to be like this at night. Put me in a coffin, right? I don't want to be like that. I want to cuddle up, and I want to be under my covers. I have this dream. This is a dream of mine. Picture this. I'm way up a, on a mountaintop, or you are way up on a mountaintop. We all are. And it's a windy road to get up there. And all of a sudden it opens up, right? And there's this view. And you can see all these mountains around you. And you look down and you can see lakes. But you're just surrounded by trees. It's a nice little parking lot. And a big cabin. And inside the cabin, like, I don't know why, but I just have this this thought of this one big great room that's not separated by walls and over in the corner is this massive king size um, wrought iron bed with down comforter and all these comfy looking pillows and then over here you've got this huge fieldstone fireplace that goes all the way up and then over on this side there's kind of like a half wall and beyond that there's like a kitchen and then over behind here there's a couch and a recliner and a tv and a coffee table or and then may or maybe a card table over in the corner next to the tv with two chairs and then outside, it's all, it's like snow, but it's nice weather. It's not like 20 below zero, but it's say maybe, you know, 25 to 30 degrees. And you can, you can sit by that big picture window that overlooks and you can have your little card table and sit there and have your coffee and then bundle up and go outside and do some snowshoeing or maybe hike some trails. <sighs> That's my dream. And I wouldn't mind a hot tub. Wouldn't mind a hot tub in the lodge, but I don't have to have it. And it's okay for, for there to be a loft, but I don't really want to have to climb any stairs. I do that all the time. Oh, and a big rug, in a circular rug in the middle. But the bed, everything's open concept. Big beam ceiling, maybe a chandelier that comes down and lights up. A big round one that lights up the whole area. You can throw some wood on the fire at night. Listen to that crackling sound. Yeah, that's my dream. See how I can go off on a tangent? But what got me thinking about that was... When I go to bed at night, I like to be comfortable. I don't want to be sleeping like this because I'm afraid that I'm going to ruin my skin or get more wrinkles. I mean, what kind of life is that? You know, be comfortable. Enjoy it. You know, get inside that bed at night and, oh, this feels so good and cuddle up and cuddle in and Say your prayers and intentions and go to sleep. Do your best during the day and you'll have nothing to worry about when you close your eyes. Okay, my friends, I hope you enjoyed this video. Be well, be blessed, be beautiful because you are, because there is nobody else on the planet like you. And that's the truth. And we all need each other. We need each other. So, until next time, bye-bye.